Hi everyone, how are you feeling? So I want to tell you that about six months ago, Lisa started talking about doing something and taking on the issue of pay equity in advertising. And we're a really lean team. I know, I know it doesn't seem like it, but there's just a few of us um, with a lot on our plates. So as she kept bringing it up, I was like, yeah, OK, and trying to change the subject. I didn't think it was something that we could or should take on. Um, but as the months progressed and we were out working on consulting and certification, um, it became clear to us that we needed to take a stand. Um, and let me tell you why. One of the most counterintuitive findings that we had through certification and consulting was that even in those agencies where we knew that there had been a wage audit and adjustments had been made, women were still not sure that they were being paid equally. In fact, in agencies where we knew that they had already done wage audits, 30 to 50 percent of the women routinely said that they were not being paid the same. And this even included large numbers of women in leadership who presumably would have known or been part of the wage audit or somehow had heard about it in some way. So the reason why this is important is that our Belonging Inclusion Leadership Talent Survey, the BUILT survey, shows that there's a psychological weight to not knowing. It impacts all kinds of things in your everyday, um, from your job satisfaction to your sense of belonging to even to a sense of loyalty to the agency, whether you're going to stay. So we, I, I had to suck up my words and tell Lisa, you're absolutely right. This is something that we do need to address and really honor sort of her vision in, re, in, 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 in this initiative. We designed the 3% pledge for pay equity um, in, to address the issue and to create an umbrella that's as inclusive as possible. We wanted it to be a big tent that people could come onto, both people who had been doing uh, wage equity since their inception to the people who thought that it was really great and they wanted to do it, but they didn't quite know how or didn't know if they could make the lift. Uh, the, uh, the pledge is for agencies who are well underway in pay equity as well as for those who are aspiring to it. Um, and we created it because we knew that some agencies had questions that we had heard that others had answered. We knew that there were some best practices that could be seeded across the, uh, the industry. And we also knew that you all are very competitive. We know that when someone ha one agency has something, others are more, more likely to follow suit. And so I want to tell you a little bit about the pay equity. Um, do I have the clicker? I do. Sorry. All right, so it has three components. The first is that you have conducted a wage review within the last two years or plan to within the next 12 months. The second pillar is that you have ensured true pay equity by rectifying like-for-like -like disparities or will do so or have a plan to do so following your review. And the final pillar is that the agency is committed to advancing pay equity through collaborating, communicating, and continuing to identify best practices in order to close the wage gap in advertising. Um, we expected maybe a handful of people to join. And as it turned out, uh, it was successful. Uh, the initial round of founding agencies of the 3% pledge for pay equity, um, there were 17 of them. Can you give a hand? Isn't that amazing? Um, some people had, it was in their DNA from the time they had been founded. Others uh, had been working at it for years. People were all across the spectrum. Um, and what we loved was just the commitment and the wanting to make it work and the asking of the questions. We had conversations over the course of months. And we're just so proud to announce these 17 agencies today. Um, they're big and small. They're independent and holding company owned. Um, and we want to recognize and thank them for their true leadership on one of the most important issues of the day facing women and their families. And what they have in common is their commitment to the women in their ranks and their willingness to make that commitment public. Um, what, did, what, did, uh, what did she say? $100 bill, yo. Um, <laughs> We're beyond thrilled to announce the 3% pledge.
pledge for pay equity agencies. Um, right now, the 17 agencies that committed, it impacts 16,000 employees around the country. That's a lot of women. So we're going to ask to call them up. And I also want to thank Leeson for her vision and her persistence. I want to call Nancy. Uh, I thank Nancy Vaughn of our team for always creating the best messages and making sure to just uh, have imp to just to communicate the impact and amplify the impact. Um, so I'm going to call the agencies up. If you can please, um, we would have had Leeson up here, but she's still in the ambassadors. So Kat's going to do the honors, and we're taking photos. And please, uh, if you can applaud our agencies as they come up. Can I say one thing? Oh yeah, absolutely, oh, come on. I just wanted to add one thing, that when we did our research about creative women, one of the pieces of research that sticks with me is that creative women in ad agencies dramatically over-index for being the primary breadwinner in their households. So this is very important to your create, retaining creative women. Yes, yes. So, in, uh, so if you could come up, do we have our agencies ready to go? Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay, so if you can come up in alphabetical order, BBH. <laughs> Campbell Ewald. <laughs> Deutsch. Donor, 11, 11. Forceman and Bodenforce, F&B New York, formerly KBS. FCB, Golan, Havas Group, Havas Group. Mechanism. Momentum Worldwide. PMG. Swift, the Martin Agency, Vladimir Jones, Wong Duty, and Zambezi.